Robert Ballard, born in 1942, is a name you may or may not know. He's a retired American Navy officer and best known for being the most successful underwater archaeologist, including the man most responsible for discovering historical shipwrecks. You can thank him and his team for discovering the Titanic, which sank in the North Atlantic Ocean on April 15, 1912, after striking an iceberg. Many artifacts have been discovered from the ship's wreckage, and as you already know from today's title, one of those items is a highly collectible silver pocket watch, which will be the topic of today's video. But before we get into that, make sure to like the video and subscribe if you want to see more. So without further ado, let's run the intro and we'll discover the story behind this fascinating pocket watch. Robert Ballard's discovery of the Titanic helped eventually fuel the director James Cameron's inspiration for his 1997 film Titanic, which went on to win 11 Academy Awards, including Best Picture, and catapulted the world's fascination with the tragic event. But how did Mr. Ballard finance his expedition needed to discover the famous shipwreck? With leverage, of course. In 1982, he approached the U.S. Navy about his new deep-sea underwater robot craft, the Argo, and his desire to search for the Titanic, however, the Navy was not interested in financing it. In 1985, however, things changed, as things often do. The U.S. decided, under the Reagan administration, that they needed to understand what happened to two of their nuclear-powered attack submarines the USS Scorpion and the USS Thresher, which both sank in the 1960s. On April 10, 1963, Thresher sank during deep diving tests hundreds of miles off the shores of Boston, Massachusetts, killing all 129 crew and shipyard personnel aboard. The Scorpion was also lost in the Atlantic, with her entire 99-person crew on May 22, 1968, as she was returning from a long deployment. The Cold War era demanded that each one of the U.S. Navy's nuclear submarines be on continual service for the purpose of locating and tracking Soviet attack and missile submarines. But time and constant service unfortunately took their toll on both ships. Using their own leverage, the Navy offered Ballard the funding and opportunity to search for the Titanic, but only if he explored the nuclear submarines first. After the two missions were completed, with just 12 days left in his trip, he was free to use resources, including the Argo, to hunt and discover the Titanic laying on the ocean floor at a depth of more than 12,000 feet. From one angle, the discovery kicked off Titanic mania, as investors saw lucrative dollar signs. However, in the end, piecing together the moments of the fateful night answered mysteries for the entire world. One of the passengers on the Titanic was a second-class passenger, 34-year-old Mr. Sinai Kantor from Vitebsk, Russia. He boarded the ship at Southampton, Southeast England, together with his wife, Maryam, with plans to travel to New York, paying £26 for their ticket. He was a university graduate and commission merchant, with plans to sell several trunks of valuable furs in America while studying medicine. Sinai drowned that night, wearing a gray and green suit, green overcoat, blue shirt, and black boots. On his person, he carried a pocket telescope, a pocketbook with foreign notes, a letter case, an empty purse, a little gold and silver, some coins, and a silver pocket watch, too. His wife, for the record, was saved. Cantor's Swiss-made open-faced silver on brass watch, with its original movement and a diameter of 3 inches, including Hebrew numbers, is highly collectible. The watch's movement is rusted with water damage, and the hands are nearly all deteriorated while the dial is stained, too. The back cover has an embossed design that shows Moses holding the Ten Commandments. In the summer of 2018, his pocket watch sold at public auction for $57,500 US dollars to John Miotel, a serious collector of timepieces related to the famous disaster. Miotel added to his collection of timepieces from Titanic victims, calling old John Jacob Astor, the liner's richest passenger and the era's richest person in the world, Oscar Woody, the Titanic's US postal clerk, and Harold Thomas Cottom, the first person to receive the distress call who served as a wireless operator on the rescue ship RMS Carpathia. 
The Kantor pocket watch was sold by a direct descendant of Maryam and Sanai Kantor. Eight days after the initial tragedy, a cable repair ship named the CS McKay Bennett arrived to recover as many victims as possible. Sanai Kantor's body was pulled from the icy water during the seven-day operation. He was labeled body number 283 and embalmed on the ship. Sanai Kantor is buried at Mount Zion Cemetery in Queens, New York. The other artifacts, not yet discovered, waited another 73 years to be greeted by a grateful Robert Ballard during his successful expedition. I hope you enjoyed the video today. If you did, make sure to give it a like, and if you'd like to see more content from us, you can subscribe right here. And as always, if you need any help repairing your watch, the link to our website is right here. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.